Okay, this is on the Falk job, number 53129, installed on 728 by Jason. Okay, what we're doing is we are replacing the main floor furnace and the upstairs furnace and using one condenser. Um, each furnace already has its own panel. It's already zoned. So here's the main floor furnace. Okay, so let's just look at this. Okay, here's the main floor furnace. We are gonna reuse this return air duct and reuse the filter box. <clears throat> Our new furnace will sit on a six inch base near the furnace, then coil, and uh, our coil is really high, so I have a cut line right here. And um, let's see, from the top of our coil, you only have a two and a half inch lap fitting. So this one you may have to work from underneath inside the coil to get it in and connected. But um okay. So our combustion air is okay. Where was it? Right there. Um our vent, we're just gonna tie on to the existing three inch PVC. Give you fittings and some pipe for that. Okay, our gas. So from the caulk, I'm just going to add a uh, hold on a second. Yeah, a three quarter close from the bottom of the caulk and a three quarter half half T um, drip leg cap flex to 12 inch, sorry, 14 inch to our 90s. Okay, go over the AC in a minute. Um, okay, the breaker panel for the AC is actually in this storage room here. Back here, it has an existing 40 amp breaker powering the AC which is what we want, so we're good there. We will, will reuse the existing disconnect. Um, the drain will be just to the floor. All right, so thermostats. I gave you, for this basement, just one Honeywell single stage stat. Um, so these zone panels are single stage. And so, you know, Y1 will be basically the main floor. Y2 will be the top floor AC. So on the heating, two stage heating, we'll just set the heating timers to, on the dip switch to single stage thermostats. Okay, while I'm down here, we will replace these solenoids. They need special R410A solenoids. Um, so yeah, replace these and the coils. And um, in the condensing unit, you will use the existing relays and controls. So don't unwire them. Or if you do, take a picture of them first. So you make sure you get them all wired back up the same way that they are. Should be, you know, the two relays for Y1 and Y2. There. Um, okay, so the humidifiers right now is on the supply. Um, we'll have to remove the humidifier. I'm thinking just, you know, over here on the return air duct. Okay, let's see here. 
Okay, so yeah, we use the existing zone panels and all that. So, um, replace the filter in the filter box. And also I noticed in this grill here and this grill here, they have one inch filters shoved in there, uh, completely plugged. So remove those two filters in there. Uh, humidity starts right there. So the thermostat for the basement, we will just keep that one as is. It is um, already a Honeywell there. Um, so we'll just keep that one as is. But we'll, we will replace all the others to match. So I'll order three other thermostats to match. Okay. Let's go to the top floor unit. Sorry, this video is probably going to be a little long. That's okay. Okay, here's the top floor. This unit's going to be a little bit tricky because our duct is going up into the attic, you know, the eave, and you can see what they've done there. So I have a cut line right here. Who knows what's behind there? <laughs> um, you know, up inside. So. Um, but anyway, so what we're doing here is, let me get this one. That's the top floor. So we need to put a drain pan under this furnace and filter box. I'm putting the furnace on three quarter inch cork pads. So the filter box is just on flex, um, but you'll just need to raise that up um, enough to, so you can slide the filter box over the two inch drain pan. Um, and sorry, I just ran, kind of ran out of room on this one, so it's tight. Um, But I did give you a canvas. I have them cutting one inch off the canvas. And I'll make this fitting just um, three and a quarter inches long. And I give you some angles to put down the sides like they have now, if you need them. Um, but okay, so our, our combustion air, not applicable. Our vent, which is going to tie on to the existing two inch PVC, um, give you fittings for that. Our gas, so from the caulk, we're going to add yeah, a close and a flex, and we're going to just add a T on the side of our furnace. Um, with the drip leg and then uh, the 12 inch in to our 90s. <sighs> um, okay, thermostats, you'll install the two Honeywell single stage stacks here. And again, make sure you set the furnace tip switch timer. Single stage tip switch. Um, reuse the existing zone panel. Furnace power is okay, we use that. Um, okay, so you will change this solenoid and valve on here as well. Um, and let's go look outside.
Oops. That's the garage. There it is. Lock the garage door. That's easier. Okay. So here's the AC. You don't need a pad. Um, but you will need, so you have two lines going into one. Um, so replace this insulation. I'll order you, let's see, you probably need, I ordered six feet, but you may need more. I'll order you 12 feet because you can use it for inside if you need. But, um, actually, you know what? This is outside, so it needs to be white, doesn't it? So just, just make sure you get, um, about tw make sure you have, you know, three quarter inch white outdoor insulation. You could split it and use the white tape outside. Um, reuse the existing disconnect and I'll give you two cans of flush to flush the lines. One for this one and then one for the top floor line. Um, and just tap the one back in and I'll give you a three quarter inch coupling and a, sorry, three eighths coupling and a seven eighths coupling for that. Okay, I think that's it.